So you've just bought yourself a new FD1 or you're thinking about it? Well, here's a video to talk through some tips, tricks, must-dos before you take your first flight and just a few other practical tips that we've learned over the last few years of flying these drones. So we're going to cover how to calibrate, using the Airshare app, reading the manual and everything else you need to know. First up, we'll give you a brief rundown of Airshare. Now, Airshare is a free app provided by the CAA which shows you flying zones, non-flying zones. Uh, you can actually book your flight, which we do every time before we go and fly. So we've booked our flight today and uh, we're just gonna declare it on the app, which we'll show you before we take off. So now that we've declared our flight, we're gonna open up the FD1, show you how to calibrate and give you a few other tips and tricks before your first flight. If it is brand new, make sure you charge it up as it won't come fully charged in the box. It might take you about an hour to get the battery fully charged. So do this the day before you take it out for a flight. One of the most important things you can do before you fly your FD1 is read the manual. There'll be a manual inside every FD1 box and we strongly encourage you to read it back to front before your first flight. Before calibrating your FD1, make sure your GPS lid is facing forward so the arrow is matching up with the two arrows on the drone. And also make sure when you calibrate one, you want 10 satellites on your remote control. But two, you will also want to be clear of any metal surfaces. So that includes your caravan, your ute, a metal table. Make sure you're in a clear open space to ensure the calibrations are successful. You also want to make sure you're calibrating on a flat and stable surface. There's a three-step calibration process we do to ensure your drone flies safely. Number one is the IMU, second is the gyroscope, and third is the compass. We always calibrate our drones in this order. So first up with the IMU, all you do is with the left joystick go up, and with the right joystick go left and right, in rapid succession. You'll see initializing pop up on your controller screen. Once this message disappears, you turn off your drone and then turn off your controller. You can then instantly turn on your controller followed by your drone to do step two, which is the gyroscope. For the gyroscope calibration, you hold the left joystick down, the right joystick flick it left and right until initializing appears on the controller screen. Give it a couple of seconds. Once it disappears, turn off your drone followed by your remote. You can then instantly turn on the controller, followed by the drone to do the third calibration, which is the compass calibration. For the compass calibration, which is the final one, flick the GPS switch on your remote up and down until you see a horizontal prompt on your controller screen. You then physically lift up the drone, slowly rotate it clockwise on its axis until there's a vertical prompt on your screen. You then tilt it nose down, continue to rotate it clockwise on its axis until you see an initializing prompt on the controller screen. Once you see this, put the drone down and wait for the initializing prompt to disappear. Once it disappears, you can restart your drone and then your controller one more time and then you're good to fly. Now that you've declared your flight, read your manual and done your calibrations, we get to do the fun part. We're going to show you just how easy it is to fly an FD1 drone. We're going to arm the motors. The left joystick we're going to go up to our desired distance and hover once you get to where you want to be you can let go of the joystick and the drone's going to hover in its position go out you want to use your right joystick and go out as fast or as slow as you want to going left makes the drone go left going right makes the drone go right and forward will continue to send it out if you're fishing once out to your desired distance you go left joystick down to drop your bait and then you use the middle joystick here to return home. Once in return to home, the drone's going to fly itself back, land itself from where it took off from, and shut itself off. So as it's coming down, you don't need to do anything with the remote, it's going to do it all automatically. So all you have to do is wait for it to land, wait for the motors to shut off, and then you can walk over to the drone, turn off the remote control and the drone. Once you've completed your first day's flying, take your propellers off, disconnect your battery, and put the drone away. If it has come in contact with salt water or salt spray, feel free to give it a wipe down with a damp cloth. If you're looking for any other useful information, head to splashdrone.co.nz and visit our Flight Academy page. We thoroughly hope you enjoy your FD1 flying experience.